Jeremiah Elliot Hudis, Elliot Hudis's Elliot's A Soldier's View placed the emphasis on a family who has had three generations serve in the military. Grandpop, Pop, Elliot's mother, Ginny, and Elliot. The plot revolved around each one's personal experience with war on stage, but are not speaking to each other. The way this is structured is similar to one recalling a personal memory that, that the other characters cannot see or hear. The things they had to see, the amount of death, and how close they almost came to death itself. Elliot had enlisted for the, for the military and has returned injured, reflecting himself, his heritage, and his actions during his enlisting. Two values represented our faith in the future. Grandpop tended to conduct a comparison between the feud through various me melodies of Bach with his flute in Korea. By playing music, he hopes that things will be all right with his troop. Through his music, he hopes to cheer up or mourn his comrades in battle. He passed it on to his son, who lost it in Vietnam, but gained a wife instead that made his military life better, better before he got back. The value of the future has been brought up out in a major way. For example, Elliot's mother planted a garden in the play for the benefit of herself and the neighborhood. Ginny explains that she will plant anything that she desires as she states a seed is a contract with the future. She believes that planting a garden is an expression of faith that something better will happen tomorrow. Besides fugue, a phrase that stuck out to me was on page 31, spoken by, by the radio voice. Some say there's a code of silence after returning home. Through further research, I have learned that a code of silence means withholding vital or important information voluntarily or involuntarily. In this case, it relates to symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. Elliot's family have all served in the military. They have all seen the horrors of war, and it, and it makes sense to not speak about it with your family. The hostile conditions, killing enemy soldiers for the first time, and the blood and gore are etched into their minds. They all carry similar stories from their service, but cannot bear to repeat what they have seen to their family. Experiences on the battlefield can be gru gruesome and hard to repeat. Hudis portrays the American soldier as a strong individual that can choose whether or not to continue their service. In this case, case Elliot is trying to decide whether he wants to go back after his leg heals or heals with his or stay with his, stay with his family. He is given le letters from his mother that his father wrote while he served in Vietnam. The letters show the similar experiences and suffering Elliot faced in Iraq as compared to Pops. In the end, he chooses to go back not because he has to, but he wants to help others as his family did and keep others safe. Now, a fugue is a musical composition, at, and from, from research, it, it defines as, re, re, as repeating or imitating one or two themes through interweaving or telling the same, same type of story, but from a different point of view. The relation to this production is that it tells the story of three generation soldiers that served in the army and their stories while they served. The intention Hudis ha had for her production was to give the insight to the audience of the aftermath of soldiers that return home. They were most like they were probably very different before they went and can't come home like a shell of their former self. Her play helps to grasp, grasp reality is not always pretty, but there are people who do what they have to do to protect their friends, family, and home from danger. Now, two questions I have for you is how does the cast take a code of silence when it came to their experience from war? And has anyone you known or related to you exp experienced PTSD when, ret when they returned from their service? I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you others have come up with.